All right, hello, welcome to another video. It's uh, whatever time of the week again, but it's time for an update. And uh, I thought uh, I, I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of questions of people that um, that work on side projects themselves would like to get a little bit more serious behind it uh, or have side projects, you know, done like every developer. Um, basically starting something, getting to the midst of it, and then uh, it's it's in some drawer somewhere and you never touch it again. Uh, but most of developers, I would say, would like to work on a side project a little bit more um, professionally. So putting it out there, having active users, improving it over time, and uh, maybe even generating some revenue of it. So I can only this year say that I can generate revenue. Of course, I'm still much in the red, but uh, it's the first time for me to earn some euros with my with my side side project, or at least generate some euros. Um, so that is that is quite cool. And even though I consider myself um, still at the very very beginning, which each of these projects, Tresor uh, One and Geoman, and uh, even the portfolio, it's still much further than anything I've done in the past. And um, it's also, of course, a little bit further uh, than a lot of developers would like their side projects to be. Um, so I got a lot of questions of um, what a normal day looks like, especially with a full-time job next to it. So how can I ship that fast? How, how does a day look like? How can I balance uh, the specific needs and requirements of a side project? Because to make it kind of successful, you can't just code. You also have to do stuff around it. Uh, so I thought, this video, um, I'm gonna answer this question a little bit and go through a day that uh, how a day looks for me. I will do this for a, for a weekday and maybe also um, like a vacation or a, or a weekend looks for me because that's where I put in most of the hours, of course. But uh, currently, also during the week, I put in a lot of hours or as much as I can. Um, so let's get to it. Maybe it have, helps uh, some of you. So. What, how many hours does a day have? 24 hours, right? So normally you sleep eight hours, eight hours is your full-time job, and then you have another eight hours to spare. And normally, of course, this goes to friends, this goes going outside, um, Netflix, whatever it is. And already last year, um, I started to uh, do a lot of, let's say, self-improvement, read a lot on effectivity and stuff like this, goal setting not only for a side project but for life and how to reach them etc and um, for me I basically exchanged some of the time I said okay starting at 8 or 9 I sit in front of Netflix until 11 or 12 p.m. then I go to bed I wake up at 8 or 9 and then I go to work right this is this is normally it and um, I thought okay there are two things that should change here first of all um, instead of Netflix and watching TV, I should use this time more productively. Uh, it's it's actually three hours or something that I could put in my side projects. Um, and second of all is, I don't do it at the end of the day where I have no energy left. I put all my, my high output energy already on other stuff. Um, I will do it in the morning where I have most of my energy. So... That's when I started uh, something called a morning routine. There is a book out there, Mir Miracle Morning, that I would definitely recommend. I also link it in the description. But um, anyways, it's it's something that I do and I will show you mine real quick. Uh, so that's how my days start, okay? I wake up at uh, six in the morning and um, I'm not telling you that you have to meditate to make a side project successful. That's not what I'm saying. But um, just hear me out on, on how uh, how it starts your day. It doesn't matter what you do or how your routine looks like. The important part is I get up at six, where, where my uh, regular work day starts at nine. So I have three hours from six to nine um, before I start with my day job that I can put my energy into myself and my side projects. So um, I get up, drink water, I meditate a little bit just you know to get some silence because, and that is like, again, I'm not saying go meditate. I'm saying um, all of you that work on code know that sometimes you work on a bug or a complex feature and you can't figure it out. And when you go to sleep or you take a shower or whatever, then suddenly the, the solution is there. The solution is um, after you wake up, 
you, you just know it. And something that you try to figure out for four hours the day before, suddenly you can solve it in two minutes. Um, and that is because your subconscious mind is, is, is working through that. Um, there is a lot of psychology behind it. I've read some books about this, but uh, the important part is that you get away from the problem and you don't think about it. And that's when you sleep, you do that. When you go to the shower or have a run or whatever. And this, this small 15 minutes meditation is basically me forcing my mind to that. Um, and, and in the evening, I also have some quiet time uh, where, where I hope that, you know, some problems just get solved by... Uh, not thinking about them anymore and have my subconscious work on it. So again, that's that's some quiet time in the morning. Doesn't have to be meditation, whatever. Then I visualize my goal, my goals. That is an important one. I set yearly goals uh, that I want to reach. I do that since two years, and it has been the most successful two years of my life. So uh, this is yeah, this is for me um, mandatory now. And I look every day at what are my goals and am I doing the right steps to. Uh, to reach them and I've even like the newsletter that I had I've shared all of those and uh, yeah if you look back at the YouTube channel I might even have shared the my goals for 2020 um, in German of course but I will definitely uh, do an update um, if you are interested just let me know so then I write some uh, journaling that is also not a journal of um, just like you know how was my day They are, it's more specific, um, it's more about my learnings and what I'm thankful for and stuff like this. And uh, I try to remind myself also about the accomplishments that I had, even if it doesn't matter how small they are, because I'm a guy that, uh, who is always, you know, the f earning the first euro was such a dream for me uh, with a side project, right? Last year and the year before. I was like, when do I, build a product that earns the first euro. And when this happened for Geoman and when this happened for Tresor, um, I didn't celebrate a lot. Actually, I was already, my mind was already like forgetting it and going on the next. Okay, when is this happening? Blah, blah, blah. And this is problematic because if you always, if you are so aspirational, always on the goals and when you reach them, you don't stop and enjoy, you just go for the next one. You are basically stuck in an endless, never ending, um, you want to reach something like constantly unhappy because you haven't reached something yet. And uh, this is a way for me and, and you know, to, to be a bit more thankful and mindful um, of myself to also celebrate some of the accomplishments that I had already. And it's even better to look back weeks, months and see, oh, I was very uh, happy about this particular accomplishment and now I'm this much further and stuff like this. So. Um, Yeah, it's, it's a very good way uh, of, of also documenting the journey in general. Um, then I, I do a little bit of exercise, uh, just very um, small, but I have to do it. You know, I got a little bit back pain coding all day. It's um, or, or working on an office job, whatever it is. Uh, and especially in this Corona times, I'm not out much. So um, yeah, I do this in the morning. Then I read. This is very important. I have a lot. I read a lot of books, of course, on self improvement, on sales tactics, marketing stuff. Uh, not even on programming anymore, um, but uh, a lot on on the stuff around it to make a product successful. And then I plan my to dos for the day. So um, this is just in general uh, the morning routine. But <clears throat> let's say I get up at six, then I'm done with it. 20 past seven. So it's an hour and a little bit. Uh, and then I have over an hour for side projects or whatever to do I would like to um, to tackle that day that uh, is not work related. So not my regular job. Um, and this is where I currently basically since uh, the whole year, basically 2020, where I um, then put my energy into Uh, into Tresor One or Geoman. So the important part here is after this routine in the morning, I, I'm full of energy. I'm awake. I'm full of energy. I drank water. Uh, I did a little bit of exercise. I took a shower. I'm in my, let's say, I'm in my clothes. I'm not uh, like in my uh, boxer shorts or sleeping pajamas, whatever, sitting uh, on the laptop and trying to work on my stuff. I'm actually like ready. I could go into the office, you know? Um, so... Then I sit on my desk, full of energy, 
and uh, then I normally release. So if I have a release ready, uh, if I have a pull request ready or whatever, I merge it. If I have a release for the development environment, the beta phase or production, um, I release it because then I have the rest of the day uh, to patch some stuff if it happens. And I like to review my own pull requests a day after, um, simply because of the same reason I said before, if you look at your code, uh, a little bit later or had some time in between to reflect or you know have your sub subconscious work on it you will spot things uh, that that might be wrong and you will take um, you you will look at some stuff in, from a different angle a little bit so it, that's a first that I do I release I merge pull requests that are ready um, and then I do customer support I get ooh, I don't know 10 15 emails a day currently for Trezor maybe one for Geoman and uh, in the morning I answer all of them um, because I don't like during the day or when, I've, when I'm when i focused on something to be interrupted by email and then doing this. Uh, so I try to batch this a little bit. So I do all of everything in the morning so my inbox is zero when I start my day. Um, then I do uh, paper clips a little bit. Then I start coding actually. So I have uh, projects here. This is Trezor, where you can see I have different um, projects where I where I group my to dos and ideas and stuff like this. And one of them is called paper clips. Paper clips is small stuff, just like visual fixes, smaller CSS stuff or additions. These are also new features, but where I know I need not even an hour to do them. Um, so that's when I fix or, re or, or build, uh, let's say one, two, three of these paper clips. And then I tackle a big one. Then I tackle here one of the epics or one of the acquisition roadmap or uh, Trezor One Plus roadmap, the big features that uh, require, you know, multiple days or even weeks that require a lot of thinking. So that's when I like get into it. And this I do until nine or 10 and then I start my regular work day. So this is how the morning looks like. Um, and th at that point I have every day already put three hours, two to three hours into the project. Um, yeah, so it's the Netflix time that goes away for this in the evening, definitely. But uh, it's not over. So um, then during lunchtime, I sometimes answer, you know, it's not enough time to code anything. So uh, I answer some some questions also that I get on Twitter or YouTube or email. And uh, in the evening, I do some um, other work. So I, sometimes I code, but what I do there also a lot is I do blog posts. Uh, I write the blog posts here for the blog. Um, to keep the, the users up to date on, on what's happening um, and also some like tutorials how to do this and that. Uh, I do the social stuff, so Twitter, YouTube, so this is the evening after work where I'm recording this video, um, in Indie Hackers uh, where I post some stuff. So this is basically me getting the word out, right, about the work I do. Um, about the challenges I have and, and, and exchanging also with the community, especially with the technical community, if I have problems or um, the tools that we use, etc. So this is community work, let's say, or social, uh, social media work. And um, what I also do in the evening is doing concepts. So I sit down on my balcony or wherever with an iPad or with a pen and paper and um, do the concept work for the projects. This is strategic stuff. This is bigger features, bigger visions, drafting it out, looking how the UI could look like, how it could work. Um, what do I balance here? What could be a paid feature, what not? So this is more concept and thinking about the product and the strategy where it should evolve. And uh, I also noticed that this is quite important to do for me because um, if you are in code all day, if you work on small features, on positioning of specific stuff, you're so deep in there that you sometimes miss the bigger picture. So uh, this is um, the time where I where I do that. Where I do that. Uh, it's not necessary to do this every day, of course, but um, yeah, when it's necessary, when I finished up some uh, some bigger, let's say, milestones that were in the previous concept then it's time for me to do a next one. So currently this is the time. The biggest milestone here on Trezor One was now the portfolio performance import. 
Um, I have migrated away from from FaunaDB. Everything is in MongoDB now. Uh, so basically the foundational work, a lot of that is done. I have the zero clicks import, which uh, I don't have a blog post yet for, but you can basically put in any PDF from a supported broker here and it finds out which security it is, um, checks on the different symbols against Yahoo Finance, adds everything automatically. So you don't have to click anything, you put it in and it works. And if there is an error, it, it asks for user um, input. So that one was a lot of work, a lot of code, a lot of thinking. Um, I've actually shared on Twitter the the logical um, chain that, that the code goes through because it's quite complex, but uh, it's released now. So a lot of foundational work is done. And now, for example, today, I'm uh, also doing concept, right? Where, where we go next, um, like sharing portfolios with friends, comparing portfolios uh, between different yeah, people or your friends or whatever, um, all this kind of stuff. And of course, the, the more detailed features like um, having here a performance graph, changing the, the time frame that you look at and stuff like this. So there are many, many features that need to come, but concept work is more is a bigger um, vision that I, that I work through here. And then I end the day again with customer support. So again, I, I pump out the emails that came in, uh, answer all of them, and um, yeah, this, this, you know, it's not like somebody has a problem of logging in and I help them. It's not customer support like that, but I get a lot of feedback really. So emails with feature ideas, emails with questions about the calculations, financial stuff behind it. So some of these discussions that I have are very intense and very long. Um, so yeah, it's not like something that I could outsource easily uh, right now at least. Um, yeah, so that's how, how a normal day looks like uh, during the week. Um, I basically pump in five hours, six hours a day, and then I only have two hours left for um, some other stuff like sports or friends or, well, you know, the friends part due to, due to Corona is a bit low. Uh, but of course here, um, some time for my wife, uh, some time for Netflix, whatever it is. Um, and during the weekend, this of course becomes much more intense. Then I um, use basically the eight hours that I would normally work for my day job um, and put them in there. So uh, that's where yeah, I easily work 10 hours on weekends on, on Trezor One. Um, I would say it's, it's uh, quite tough, but honestly, it's not exhausting me that much because it's just fucking fun. <laughs> it's really fun. I love working on it. Again, I, I'm using it myself. Uh, this is um, yeah what I could do all the time. Of course, uh, I'm currently being a bit more mindful about everything and uh, taking my time as well. Doing like a bike biking tour, you know, um, taking some some days off, uh, not days, but uh, a day off or half a day, and getting a bit outside, getting sunshine because the last let's say two months have been very very intense, and I already noticed that it drags on other um, areas of my life like my health or um, my mood in general um, because I feel like even though this is a lot of fun I'm neglecting a lot of uh, other areas in my life so um, that's why I will or I, I started to put more focus in as well and not work like 16 hours a day on it which I what I did uh, when I had vacation for example um, a month ago or I think it was a month ago so that is how a normal day looks like. Uh, hope it helped you a little bit. I'm curious how um, a day of you looks like if you work on a side project and bootstrapping a little bit, a little uh, business or side hustle. Um, let me know in the comments or you know reach out via Twitter or email. I'm uh, curious and I will of course answer everything. So thanks again for uh, staying with me and um, for watching. If you want to support me a little bit, the like button is always there and helps the channel a lot and me, of course. So thank you and see you in the next one. Peace.